quick thing before this video starts. This was filmed about four months ago. I think it was actually my second review for a machine. My editing style has changed quite a bit, so please bear with me. Also to preface, I got no specs for this machine. However, I did want to review it still and did want to give you guys an early preview on what you might expect from this tattoo machine. I am still very new to reviewing things, so please be patient with me. I will see you guys at the end. I'm going to go over my final thoughts and everything else. Dragonog S8 is not out quite yet, but I have been able to use it for about two days. It's pretty soft. I would say 3.5 stroke. They didn't give me a booklet. Um, they didn't really tell me much. I'm assuming just to keep it a mystery. They don't have a listing for it. It's not out anywhere. So I'm not sure how much it's going to retail for, but it's pretty fun. I do like the S1 as well. They sent me that. That was plastic frame. I believe this is aluminum or steel. I'm not quite sure because like I said, they did not give me a booklet. So I'm just going purely based off of what I felt and how I've used on fake skin. It is really lightweight. I did find myself using it and not really getting tired or fatigued or anything. I know with the battery, some people might be concerned that it has a lot of extra back weight. I didn't really find that to be the case. I thought it was actually pretty evenly weighted. I did use a RCA cable with it and I did find that it was slightly lighter not by much so i think if you're someone that actually enjoys using wireless or attachable batteries you're not going to really feel it the ridges on the grip are actually really nice i thought at first that they wouldn't be quite as impactful as they are but given that they're just a little bit you can fit your thumb in there you can rest a part of your middle finger in there or your pointer finger really however you like to have it if you have it wrapped up a lot you might not notice it as much if you're someone that just uses it on fake skin i think you'll be fine shut up for asmr the battery goes anywhere from 5 to 12 volts i did find it was actually really really responsive I haven't used it any longer than, I don't know, two, three hours. I think one bar came down out of four. It's really, really responsive. It's really, really clicky and tactile, which if you know me, you know I love clicky tactile buttons. It turns on and off pretty quickly. Just like your mom. It's pretty easy to bag. I did use a machine bag, some tape, and some grip tape. I did find it was really easy to do soft blends with it. Since it does go down to five, I would recommend using a power supply with it if you want to get in softer blends. I did use multiple brands of cartridges and they all fit. Dragonock is a pretty cool brand, so I think that once this machine comes out, I'm sure it'll be a reasonable price. If you're a new artist and you're trying to experiment with different brands, I think this is a great entry level machine. If you're someone that's been tattooing for a while and you want to try a new machine or an entry level brand, I think this is a pretty good option for you when it does come out, so. So my honest thoughts on the machine, I think it's really nice for fake skin. I think Dragonhawk should actually be disclosing what machines are for what. Since they are beginner friendly for the most part in terms of budget, I know that the S1 is for fake skin only because it's made out of plastic. Much like the S8, which is this machine, I think it's aluminum. I wasn't quite sure, so I decided to stick to only 
fake skin for practice and cartridges being interchangeable in and out. So I didn't do any human testing or anything like that. I didn't think it was responsible for me if I didn't have any proper paperwork, which that's not really on Dragonhawk's fault. They really wanted to send me something to get my opinion. At the time, it's not commercial ready, but they may change it. They might re-release it. But at this moment, I think it's pretty good for a fake skin only tattoo machine. I believe it's a 3.5 fixed stroke. It did feel really soft. I thought the grains were nice. It being that I've had it for about three months, I think, and I did give it away. I am happy that the person I gave it away has a use for it. It's really nice outside, and I'm happy that I can share this with you guys. I'm happy that the channel is evolving. I'm happy that you guys are asking me questions. I think when the essay comes out, I think that it'll be mostly light, light stipple work, and it could push lines for like three round liners or five round liners. I believe the kit it came with gave me seven round mags and then three round liners. I also tested FYT and Quadrant. It couldn't really push larger needle groupings, but that's not really what it's made for, at least I don't think. The ink that it came with, I believe, is only for fake skin use since I didn't get any information regarding its ingredients or anything like that, but everything in the kit seemed appropriate for just fake skin. I thought it was really nice and really smooth. If you're doing gray wash, lightweight machine is kind of what you're looking for, at least me. I want to thank my patrons. You guys are really awesome. I am possibly needing surgery, possibly not. We'll see what time brings us, but... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And it's hot. I think it's like 98 degrees. I'm also dramatic. And I'm also like a ginger. So my temperature gauge is kind of off. I'm also curious to see how far this mic really goes. So far, I think I'm about, I don't know, 12 feet, 6 meters. I don't know. I'm not an adult. Dragonox is pretty cool. I think that they have some reasonable things to check out. And if you're on a budget, man, I mean, if you want to just do fake skin, I think it's fine. There's a lot of people that say you need like an $8,000 machine to do tattoos, which I do agree. You need a quality machine by a reputable brand. Otherwise, man, thanks for tuning in.